Good evening, everyone. Welcome to BTT News. I'm David Hoffman. It has been a year since the highly addictive designer drug D-Pain started gaining popularity. Over the past year, the DEA has worked on finding the producers behind this drug, but have so far been unable to find any suspects. It seems the DEA is unable to stop this drug from spreading over the country, and it won't be long, they believe, before it spreads over the entire planet. The police still believe that the murder of DEA agent Ben Slater is related to D-Pain. Slater was found shot to death in his own driveway. The police have no clue or suspects at this time, and it has been over a year since Slater was murdered. At the time, D-Pain was new on the market, and Slater was the lead investigator of the drug. Police say they have also found two D-Pain drug dealers dead very lately, but also have no suspects on that case. Some believe it is other drug cartels. Others believe someone has taken the law into their own hands and that they're cleaning the streets. Will there be more dead drug dealers or will D-Pain continue to spread over the world? The next few months will show us. David Hoffman, BTT News. Mark Slater. Mark, we have a new lead. Get ready for your next assignment. Okay, Mark, this is a breakthrough, a major step in finding the deep pain source. A private gang meeting is taking place in Mad Marco's bar tonight. The gang is linked to narcotics. The leader and the bar owner are in on it. They're both deep pain dealers and convicted criminals. The owner of the bar is Marco Daler, alias Big D. He has a private office in the back of the bar where he sells drugs. The gang leader's name is Lex Ryder. He's also known as the Ink. We should recognize him by the tattoos on his face. Lex has a briefcase with him. We believe the brief...
Get lost. Yeah. 